I think we're very much where we are for the remainder of the year when it comes to any of these issues, and particularly the supply chain issues. Let's understand that the, the issue with, the, with America's ports did not happen in the last eight months of the last year. This is something that's been building up over the last, course of the last 20 years between between bad contracts, bad infrastructures, not doing proper port expansions, um, the centralization of some of the supply chain issues where you have, uh, let's say, for example, Newark, uh, uh, the port of Newark, which is crowded beyond recognition, but then you have the port of Baltimore, uh, only slightly down the coast, which is operating completely normally. So we've needed to fix these things for years, and I wish the Biden administration has he tied this in to much of the infrastructure spending he's talking about. If he could be campaigning across the country right now, saying that the reason we have to pass the Build, Build Back Better plan, the reason we need an infrastructure bill, is to fix these supply chain issues that have been bugging us for generations now and are just now metastasizing. So I think what we really have to start looking at is how will this diminished bill affect Democrats in 2022? Because if you're running for a re-election, you know, right here in Georgia, we have Raphael Warnock, who's in a very vulnerable seat. What exactly is Joe Biden giving Democrats to campaign on? You can't campaign on Afghanistan. You can't campaign on voting rights. You can't campaign on the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. And now the signature bill, the Build Back Better plan, is being cut down and diminished to the point that there's, where there's not really going to be much of a there there to go bragging around the country in order to justify maintaining the House and the Senate uh, going into a crucial midterm election. So this is why I think the progressives are going to have to make a strong Longer stance against everything that's being cut out because mansion and cinema cannot simply go against the will of 80 million people.